Okay, so so that's it. So th today we will focus on existential therapy. This is about proving the nature of human being. So when we say proving, you know, we are about to prove you know, what is the nature of human being. So the whole material uh, is being illustrated by Buffy, the vampire slayer. That's so That's how he termed himself. So, but basically, when we say existential therapy and how we're going to prove the existence of this, we will discuss the the, uh, the whole theory of Rollo May. So, before we proceed to the whole discussion about this this existential therapy, of course, we have to study first who is Rollo May. So, see Rollo May. So, he was born. Uh, um, April 21, 1909, in Ada, Ohio. So he died at the age of 80, around 84, 85. To be specific, it was in 1994. So his childhood was not particularly present. So yung mga magulang niya, hindi talaga sila nagkakasundo at eventually nag divorce or nag again. So ang sister niya ay meron, nagkaroon naman ng psychotic breakdown. So Nagpunta siya sa Michigan and asked me because nagkaroon siya ng involvement sa mga radical student magazine. So, nakatanggap siya ng kanyang Bachelor of Arts sa Overling College in Ohio. Okay? So, after graduation, so, syempre, uh, kailangan na rin magtrabaho. So, his job, he went to Greece and taught English at Anatolia College for three years. He worked just as an itinerant artist. He studied briefly with Alfred Adler. So, ibig sabihin, abot ang pala si Alfred Adler. Uh, later on, of course, we will discuss deeply about Alfred Adler. So, the most common is about inferiority and superiority. The, right? So, this is more on about Alfred Adler. So, he returned to U.S. and entered seminary and received his B.D. In 1938, so nagkar suffer siya ng tuberculosis and spent three years in sanitarium, facing the possibility of death was probably the turning point of his life. So nag-aral din siya ng psychoanalysis sa White Institute at namet na si Horace Tuck Sullivan, of course, ibig sabihin talagang namimit niya pa yung mga renowned na psychologists, even Erich Fromm, nagkita nga sila. So he went to Columbia University in New York. Where in 1949, nakatanggap siya ng kanyang PhD in clinical psychology were in the institution ever awarded. So, taught a variety of top schools. In 1958, he edited the book Existence, which introduced existential psychology in the US. So, we're just going to discuss it very brief uh, because this is more on about Rollo Murray. Actually, pinag-aaralan natin yung theory ng mga ng mga psychologists or ng mga theorists ng mga nagpo-formulate ng theorists because this is the basis kung meron bang kinalaman ng kanilang theory sa buhay nila sa nakaraan because that is one of the uh, basis no, kung dapat pa natin silang paniwalaan. So next is the existential theory. So based in, this is based on philosophy inspired by the writings of Nietzsche C. Kierkegaard and Heidegger Sartre, Jasper and Buber. Okay, so Normally, we normally ask, you know, according to one book, uh, Kierkegaard's literary character, Young Man in Repetition, written in 1843, how did I get into the world? Okay. Why was I asked about it? Why was I not informed of the rules and regulation, but just thrust into the rocks, as if I had been fought by the peddling Shanghai of human beings? How did I get involved in this big enterprise called actuality okay why should i be involved isn't it a matter of choice and if i'm compelled to be involved where is the manager okay so i have something to say about this is there no manager to whom shall i make my complaint so basically this is the based on philosophy of this one if you come to think of it from th this literary character of young man in repetition. So, dito niya lahat ibinahagi. So, kailangan natin siyang humayin. No? So, kanting pasada lang. So, paano tayo napunta sa mundo? So, bakit marami tayong mga tanong? Bakit marami mga rules and regulations? Napunta na lang tayo dito. So, basically, dito umiikot ano, yung kanyang kanyang 
kanyang konsepto na bakit nakabase ito sa philosophy. Okay, so, next is helps people examine issues of personal meaning. So, in existential theory, aalamin din natin yung ating mga personal meaning. Ano ba yung kahulugan? No? Bakit tayo nabubuhay sa mundo? Now, it is longer a matter of deciding what to do, but a deciding how to decide. Okay, so, was according to me, in his book, Love and Will, in 1969. So, less about Yuri and more about offering perspective on human condition. So, those are some of the basic no, assumptions of existential therapy. The premise of experience, every individual is unique. So, lahat tayo, may kakaiba. We have the isolation, we are born alone and die alone. We have also the personal meaning. What is the purpose for living? Bakit tayo nabubuhay? So, that's it. So, and...